Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fee and this is Money Philosophy. Thank you for coming back for another day of Tesla analysis. As usual, we will start with Tesla technical analysis and then we will move on to Shopify and Amazon in the back half of the video. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I am a growth stock investor and a trader and I'd love to share with you my investing and trading journeys. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Here's Tesla's daily chart. The curtain volume right now is 75% and we still have two more hours of the trading day to go. So it tells me that volume is roughly average, uh, probably slightly below average, but it is not too bad at this time. The daily candle today looks pretty bullish. Um, it spanned from 909, which is the lowest point of the day, all the way to up Above the upper point of the gap 949 it is trading now at $953 um, so it has been moving pretty uh, drastically to the downside from uh, 1243 all the way down to 909 which was the gap that was previously created on October 23rd um, once again, I can't say that I'm surprised because uh, the gaps are generally filled. It took a long time to fill and uh, it probably has to be because of Elon Musk share selling uh, to trigger this type of correction. Uh, but if you are a Tesla investor, you know how volatile the stock is and you shouldn't be surprised of this magnitude of correction. Uh, the next leg uh, when Tesla run back up, it will be making an all-time high and higher than 1243, that's for sure. The question is when. This is a very steep correction, yes, but at the same time, Tesla is the kind of stock that is not for the faint of heart. Um, it does correct pretty drastically, and um, I would always resist the temptation to buy when Tesla is um, exponentially increased like this because we know that a correction is forthcoming. Uh, that being said, if you are a long-term shareholder in Tesla, uh, you shouldn't be uh, afraid of entering your position or expanding your position at any point in time. Uh, my philosophy is that every time I have cash, I will buy some. Every time the stock has a red day, I will buy some. Uh, not a lot, one to two to three shares, five shares uh, at a time, uh, but I always find an opportunity to buy because two to three years from now, Tesla stock is not going to be hovering around 900 or $1,000. It will be in the $2,000 um, and at that time, I don't want to look back and say, what if? So the daily candle pattern right now looks pretty bullish. If Tesla ends the day around 965, give or take another $10, it would make a very much a bullish candle. It would be the exact opposite of the dark cloud cover. Uh, to be honest, I don't know what this pattern is called, but uh, it is a very bullish pattern that I've seen in the past. Uh, once again, complete opposite of dark cloud cover. And so I do see that Tesla is going up from here on out, assuming it ends the day above $950. Uh, we also see a RSI divergence here, although it is not extremely clear. Uh, where you see the price action has been moving down, RSI has been moving sideways. Um, now it's just a matter of time before it start lifting up. Uh, it's still in the oversold territory for the last um, few weeks right uh, the RSI touched the bottom here uh, but I think that it will start moving back up and with this particular pattern emerging uh, I think the odds now favor the upside so here's the hourly chart um, as you can see the RSI uh, action for the hourly chart right so Tesla been moving down yesterday when RSI was hitting oversold territory and even today at pre-market the stock uh, hit oversold territory down here as well, which signals uh, an immediate reversal. I did place a call option uh, at before the market opens, hoping that it will go through. Presumably Tesla would move down below 909, uh, but my option never got executed, unfortunately. Uh, that said, I don't think that I would miss out on a whole lot here. I might have missed out on the bottom. But if anything, um, after today, and if the price action is bullish at the end of today, then um, you will have a better confirmation for the upside. So I'm not heartbroken that the call option didn't go through. 
looking at the four hour chart here just to kind of give a different perspective as you can see the tesla has been moving down making a, a lower low and a higher low consistently so every time it bounces, it's only going to come down further bounce and come down further uh, this seems to be the next bounce so uh, quite frankly based on the four hour chart pattern it could move all the way down again to below nine hundred dollars uh, but right now because the gap is filled and it was a really strong uh, gap way back in October, I do think that this creates a very good support for Tesla. Um, so I think that Tesla could recover from here uh, depending on how the overall market fares next week. Um, so we've been talking about Santa rally every year and I think that now that all the news are out, the debt ceiling is extended, um, we are probably looking for a smooth ride in the back half of December. Uh, if the macroeconomics environments cooperate, we can see Tesla move back up to first $1,026, which is its 50 days SMA. Uh, let's take a look at the weekly chart. Now, the weekly chart is not entirely bullish. Uh, in fact, it is quite bearish, and I'm looking for Tesla to end the week a little bit more than $950. Uh, if Tesla for some reason ends at 982, which is quite a lot from here, then that is a much better sign of reversal for me. But even where it's at right now, uh, uh, on the daily, it still shows signs of reversal. On the weekly chart, you see that the uh, RSI has been moving sideways for a little while now, even though um, the price action has been moving, has been moving down. Uh, but it's uh, important to note that on the weekly chart, we haven't gotten to oversold territory. So oversold territory would have been like uh, the situation here in May and in March, right? At the time, the stock price was around um, $550 uh, on both time that it hit the bottom here for oversold. Uh, right now, um, we did not see oversold. Uh, on the weekly chart based on the weekly RSI here. Um, so that is also uh, something to be cautious about. I don't think that is necessarily a bearish sign, but it's something for us to not be overly optimistic um, as we play the upside. I'm looking at January 7, 2022 um, call option. Um, right now, $1,000 strike price is at about $3,700. It's not a bad price for a uh, three weeks worth of option for strike price 1000, which we know Tesla would hit easily if it attempts to move back up to 50 days SMA. Uh, if you want to um, go a little further out, uh, you might want to also cover uh, Q4 delivery results. So I would either look at January 28th or February 18. Uh, I would do February 18 just to buy some time. Um, so if you're looking at um, February 2022, I would look at at least $1,050 or $1,100. $1,100 right now is at about $49.50, uh, which is also not a bad bet and not a bad risk for uh, 1100 If we're looking for Tesla to make it back to its previous all-time high, 1100 might not be a bad idea. However, I have to be cautious because every time Tesla make a correction, it takes three to six months before Tesla make it back up to its previous all-time high. Even though previous all-time high is not until 1243, uh, you're really just giving yourself two months, and so you're hoping for a reversal and uh, a vigorous run back up to $1,100 by February 18. So it could be a little bit ambitious, but we know that there are a lot of catalysts from now until February 18, um, so this might not be a bad idea. Uh, so once again, it is about $49.50 right now, so give or take $5,000 um, to buy us two months and to bet that Tesla will make it back up to, to above $1,100. Um, it is not a bad bet in my opinion. Uh, if you have uh, more capability for more premium, I would look out to um, May, for example, 2020. Um, and then if you're looking at, let's say, 1200 for May 2022, uh, you're looking at 
about 7700 at this point for $1,200. Uh, this is also a reasonable um, option at this point. Now, I must say that all of these premiums have been much higher than when Tesla hit $909 this morning. But um, in my mind, if you could not catch the bottom, then you find the next best opportunity. We don't dwell over what we could have done differently. Uh, we can't change the past. So now we're looking at this pattern and see whether or not it's worth entering. It is at the beginning of reversal, and, um, but it is at the beginning of reversal. Um, as I mentioned, this is an initial sign of reversal. Um, so a, a caution right now would not be a bad idea. Keep in mind that it can always fall back down a little bit before moving back up. Uh, but I do see, once again, more potential for upside than the downside at this point. Um, and I would uh, enter a call option by the end of the day, once again, if Tesla holds $950 or above. Uh, so hopefully that uh, helps you guys with a consideration for a potential option in Tesla. Uh, I would not do next week expiration, even though there's a good chance that Tesla would run next week. But to me, that is just too close. And if Tesla sits on sideways pattern for two to three days, it could affect our trade and our mindset. So I definitely would buy some more time if I can. Here's the daily chart for Amazon. At the time of this recording, Amazon is at $3,400. We still have about an hour and a half to go in the trading day. Uh, Amazon does seem to be uh, bearish yesterday. Um, and uh, today, it seems to be also an initial sign of reversal, even though the volume is low. It's only 67%. Uh, but I see a clear RSI divergence here. So I do have hope that next week, Amazon will start running to the upside. Remember, we talked about the head and shoulder pattern here for Amazon. Um, and Amazon did fall down all the way to below 200 days SMA, uh, which is now at 3303. Uh, it fell down uh, the day of Fed uh, announcement, which was on Wednesday. The lowest point of Wednesday was 3307. And then it reversed the same day. The next day, it started moving back down, touched 200 days SMA again, and held 200 days SMA. This morning, it lost its mind, basically. It went all the way down to 3310 and then reversed. Um, so right now, it's still um, looking a little weak as far as reversal is concerned. Uh, but let's see what it will do at the end of the day. I do think that if Amazon can somehow get back up to four, to 34.15, uh, that would be a much better confirmation of reversal in my mind. Um, so I would either enter a call option at the end of the day, knowing that it would have a little bit more risk, uh, or I would wait until Monday for confirmation for the stock to go bullish. Uh, if you can afford it, I would get two to three weeks out. Um, even though uh, the odds favor the upside, it's really hard to say exactly what Amazon will be doing Monday and Tuesday. Uh, but I do think that with this pattern and assuming Amazon ends the day um, above 3400, um, I would think that Amazon is on its way to reversal. Shopify is here. Uh, it is a little iffy on the chart from a bullish standpoint. To me, it still look a little bearish. It still has a head and shoulder pattern, but uh, the price is now falling below 200 days SMA significantly. Uh, so Shopify has two possibilities from here. Um, it could continue to fall down further fall into the bear market territory, which will not be pretty for Shopify. Um, coupled with the fact that interest rates will be increasing next year, the technology stocks that have been running up vigorously, like Shopify, uh, would be the first to move downward, right? Because when interest rate rises, the present value of all these company is lower. And if it is not a value stock, but a growth stock, betting on the potential growth of the business and future value of the business, then necessarily the current value will be deflated when interest rate rises. Um, so it, it doesn't surprise me that Shopify is moving down. However, um, we're trying to gauge whether Shopify has any potential to reverse. 
if it does reverse, now is the best opportunity um, for that reversal. But if it doesn't reverse, then um, it will fall into bear market territory and it's going to start hitting back to the 1000 again. Um, so I'm not really sure where Shopify will go from here because this candle here coupled with the last two candles doesn't really show me a reversal pattern. Uh, if anything, it shows me a bearish continuation more than anything, uh, but we'll have to wait until the end of the trading day to see. The volume in Shopify is pretty decent. It's at 82%. So by the end of the day today, it should have a 100% uh, volume. If Shopify reclaimed 200 days SMA, which is right now at 1370 by next week, then we do have hope that Shopify will go back up to 50 days SMA, which is 1491. Uh, but if Shopify cannot make it back to 1370 um, within the next few days, then chances are it's going to fall back down even further. Uh, so that's just my thought for Shopify. Um, right now, it is in no man's land. Um, very hard to trade because if you go into put option, it's probably somewhat more expensive uh, now than a few days ago. And if you go into call option, you're really just hoping for a reversal and not having any clear probability at this point. So I would not do either way for Shopify. Uh, I think it is um, a little bit tricky among the three stocks. Uh, I would hold off and wait on Shopify until further information. So this is it for this video. I hope you find the information helpful. Uh, please consider subscribing, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so my video could be dropped into your inbox the moment I post it. If you have any questions, please comment down below and I'll do my best to uh, answer you. I also have a Patreon community uh, link to sign up is down below if you're interested in uh, talking directly with me or having more regular updates on the market and how I view uh, various trades. Thank you very much for your support and until the next video, bye.